Hey guys, welcome to Vinal TV. This is Canon Pixima TR8550. I'm going to show you how to scan your document with this printer via your mobile device. Okay, I'm also going to show you how to print and copy with this printer. But what you want to do right now is to scan your document from this front screen. Yeah, you can see you can copy, fax, print, and scan. From this printer so if you select scan okay you select where you want to save this document but what I want to do is to scan this with my mobile device so we go back okay and I got this document we want to scan okay right now so we'll open this up okay so so we're going to scan this alignment head and this documents so this is what we're going to do to do this first of all you open this up okay open it up and place the document you want to scan okay on top of the printer and close it okay if you haven't got mobile device you can select this information from the screen here but once you select this information you need to decide where you want to send this document but at the moment they expect you to do all this via your mobile phone so i got my mobile device here right and uh, so what we're going to do is you need to like i said earlier if you check my previous video you need to download go to play store google play store okay and download canon prints like ingest selfie once you download this app right you will be able to do should be able to do a lot of stuff with this once you have android phone okay so you have download this canon print slash angel selfie okay once you download it you click open install it and click open right now so and make sure that you select the printer and connect it to your wi-fi device so this printer right now this printer is still at 8,500 150 from the mobile device will tell you 8500 series okay this printer is here so you can see scan copy okay and more you can document print you can photo print okay so what we want to do is to scan document this document that is inside is what we want to scan so you just need to select scan and once you select scan then you need to go to change settings by selecting change setting you select it you do whatever you want to do with it right now you can see data format is jp jpeg which is photo okay so we need to change this to pdf okay now you also need to select the document type select the color select the document size okay and go from there so you just need to select change settings once you change select change settings it gives you the option to data format so you change it from you can see jpeg okay select it change it to pdf document okay once you've done that the next thing to do is tap document type so if it's a photo you want to print okay you select photo but if it's a document that you want to print you select document so you tap okay document right now the next thing to do is color mode you select color mode okay if you want it gray color you tap gray color if you want it color you tap back to color the next thing to do is document size from this document size you can see we have card l landscape l portrait four by six inches landscape 4 by 6 portrait hagaki, hagaki landscape hagaki portrait 2l landscape 2l portrait a5 b5 and a4 paper and letter so what we're going to do is right now is on a4 paper in case if you want to select any other okay paper you just need to tap that paper you will select so right now it's changed to b5 so if you want to go back to a4 paper so we select a4 paper and tap a4 right now it's on a4 paper okay 
right now the next thing to do is also document size you tap the document size it's a4 paper if it's letter you select letter so right now it's changed to letter but you want to go back so tap here and put it back to a4 so this is the settings right and this setting right now is done and ready to go so we just need to go back so we have selected the function that we need what we need to do right now is select scan so right now this document is scanning and also it will be showing you here from the printer that processing please work momentarily scanning the document if you look over here it's scanning the document and on my mobile device also it will be showing you that this document is scanning in progress okay this is how to scan your mobile phone i mean this is how to scan your document with this printer here we go and this is complete this document right now is completed this is the document we scan okay the original one is over here okay this is the second this is the original one this is the one we scan right now if you want to scan another document we take this one off okay and put this one okay so right now you put this document in okay so we close it as usual go to your mobile device okay once you go to your mobile device the next thing to do is you can see is page one so you need to tap again okay it's scanning right now please wait momentarily If you want to stop it you can select stop or cancel from your mobile device okay right now this document is scanned so this is the second one so from your mobile device it will tell you page two okay so what we need to do is we take this off you can do this up to how many pages of documents you want okay so this document right now is scanned what we need to do if you want to finish you select exit once you select as it will tell you scan result will be saved you know on your pdf file storage file you select okay okay this is the document we scan this is the first one this is the second page okay so you can see this is the first and second this is the first second page okay right now to send this document to your fellow or to a friend or to anybody you select you go on top of your mobile device you can see the share sign okay so you tap in once you tap it it will give you the option from the mobile device you can see say send this or share it via bluetooth share it via email save to drive send this as a message or send it as a gmail okay or nearby share send it wi-fi direct send it to hp service plugin send this to Wi-Fi app send it to email or print okay on mobile you can print it from Canon print okay so this document right now is ready to go so to send it to your email or to somebody else you need just need to tap find out your email tap that email okay right now here we go this document right now is attached on my email email inbox what you need to do is just to type in the email address of the fellow the person you want to send it to okay i'm gonna se send this back to my email address okay because you can do that as well so i'm sending it back to my email address select now it's asking you to send this without any subject subject is something that remind people that you send them documents so i don't i want to send it without a, a, writing any subject so send anywhere so this document is sending email so this is right now sent what we need to do is if we go back to my email address inbox you can see this document right now i will tell you the time okay so we'll go back and go to my email address inbox okay go to email here we go so right now is 9 42 am here in uk so this is the document okay this is the document we send okay this is the document in my inbox 
so you just need to tap 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 it okay download select download once you select download okay this document is downloaded right now then you click open okay this is the here is the document this is the first one this is the second one okay this is how to scan your document okay i'm also going to show you how to print this document okay how to copy and print thank you very much please if you're happy with what i've just shown you right now please do consider to subscribe it helps us to go thank you very much indeed i appreciate you thank you